Vietnam's health sector is in transition. In 2014, we saw the continued epidemiological and demographic shift towards a disease burden characterized by NCDs and an aging population more prone to these conditions. NCDs are now estimated to account for 73% of total deaths, and the proportion of the elderly population has increased to 7.1%, which compounds the challenges of NCDs and provision of services for chronic ailments. Rapid urbanization continues to contribute to changes in lifestyles and behaviors, creating new pockets of poverty and new health risks and hazards. Emerging and re-emerging infections, including H7N9 and the Ebola virus in West Africa, continue to threaten the health security of the country. At the same time as facing these new challenges, the country is facing old challenges, including malnutrition, stunting and maternal deaths, which disproportionately affect the most vulnerable segments of the population. Health inequalities persist among the poor, vulnerable and disadvantaged populations, highlighting the need for proactive efforts to further strengthen the health system. The Ministry of Health, with strong backing from its development partners, has worked hard to accelerate efforts towards the attainment of all five health-related MDGs. It has already made trailblazing achievements and been recognized globally as one of the 10 fast-track countries in the attainment of the MDGs. The resolution on MDG acceleration requiring that the MDGs be prioritized at the local level, especially hard to reach areas, reaffirmed the centrality of the health-related MDGs to the country's socio-economic development agenda and goals. And this experience was shared in South Africa in mid-2014 when the Minister participated in the Forum of the Partnership for Maternal, Newborn and Child Health. In 2014, Vietnam also made significant strides in moving towards universal health coverage with the revision of its health insurance law, increasing coverage for the poor, ethnic minorities and other vulnerable populations. It continued the process of reforming its grassroots health network, giving special emphasis to the ethnic minority populations and those living in hard-to-reach areas. With regards to its obligations under the international health regulations, Vietnam reached a milestone in global health security, fulfilling all IHR core capacities by June 2014. The establishment of the Emergencies Operations Center, with support from partners, now serves as the command center of the MOH for coordinating emergency response to public health threats. Multi-sectoral collaboration in One Health was advanced in 2014 to strengthen coordination between the interconnected sectors of animal and human health. The Minister's participation in the Global Health Security Meeting in New York was another opportunity for Vietnam to share its successful experiences with the global community. Alongside these achievements, Vietnam has continued to tackle communicable diseases. It launched a large-scale measles rubella campaign targeting 23 million children, and by December 2014, more than 10 million children had been vaccinated. In parallel, it has continued to prevent and control TB, malaria and HIV AIDS. The country has also made big strides in integration and harmonization in the areas of pharmaceuticals, food safety, essential health technologies and medical equipment. With the introduction and enforcement of stronger laws mandating the use of quality controlled motorcycle helmets, the country has continued to tackle its high burden of road traffic mortality and morbidity. In the global health diplomacy arena, Vietnam has also strengthened its position as one of the region's leaders. Its active and meaningful participation in the 2014 World Health Assembly and the Regional Committee was applauded. And in September 2014, it successfully hosted the 12th ASEAN Health Ministers' Meeting. 
This year, the MOH and its development partners also participated in the IHP Plus monitoring exercise for the first time. This process helped to identify progress and stumbling blocks towards the shared goal of greater development cooperation effectiveness. At a side event during the World Health Assembly, Vietnam also shared the experience of how the burden of reporting strains scarce human resources, particularly at lower levels of the system. It also shared its efforts to address this with the recently agreed core set of indicators developed by the government and its development partners. Building on the agenda for health post-2015 that was defined at the 12th ASEAN Health Ministers meeting, the MOH is now embarking on a process of defining its own post-2015 health agenda, recognising that health is at the core of sustainable development. It is looking towards a focus on ensuring health equity and universal health coverage while aiming to establish a strong, resilient and transformative health system that promotes health and well-being and takes the community as its client, responding to the needs of Vietnam's population and ensuring that no one is left behind. This year, the first year of the new Vietnam Health Partnership document, the HPG has redoubled its efforts to improve its strategic and operational functioning. We started the year with the HPG-1 led by the Minister and focusing on five key priority areas. We organised a special meeting to identify new and better ways of working, including resolutions that will facilitate follow-up on the dialogue initiated at these HPG meetings. The INGO Forum set out concrete steps for strengthening INGO engagement in the HPG and collaboration with DPs and the MOH. Today the HPG has begun a dialogue on the revised pharmaceutical law and national strategy, expressing support to the government's efforts in this area. In 2015 we look forward to further strengthening our collaboration as the HPG towards ensuring that Vietnam's health system leaves no one behind.